I said, let me finish real quick. No! You was like a, a tenderloin steak meat that was that cooked Shady Let me finish my job. <laughs> if it was just a smash, I might pass the motherfucker to you. Mm. Sometimes you get dick so good, I'm like, hey, girl, you need to... Yeah, I call plenty out loose. I, I, I just tip women when they tell their friends and I fuck up like, here, little honey. Oh, but you friend? know... <laughs> Don't, don't worry Not about it. Not leave it on a dresser. <laughs> yeah. When they, when they, if that word of mouth, yeah, that word of mouth, I appreciate that. How you pull it off? You be like... That little reference fee. I said, get that to a chick. Like, reference fee is Yeah, crazy. they be sneaking off. They either heard about that motherfucker and they want a little taste. I appreciate the woman spreading right. the news now. Here's lunch on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm, okay. I'm looking. So now... Imagine uh, she uh, up right, up right, 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 so the caption, as you can see, is ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. Y'all ever had X so good you wanted your friends to try it. <laughs> now, I don't understand why, when, where, how, and what the reasoning is this is for, but we're going to go ahead since they want to put it out here and talk about it. Because, you know, if I say tweet like a black American woman and then hear something like, oh, we should go ahead and share or we is so good that we should just let our friends know, then y'all will be all upset when someone comes around and says that this is how black American women act and this is what they say and they're over sexualized when every single freaking thing for the most part out here is that. So I don't understand why you're so upset. Why do we need to know this? Why does this need to be said? And I'm going to go ahead and read the comments in a second. But first, I just want to say, what, what did anyone get out of this? What does this do? What is the point? So that's only, only to correlate it to don't be upset when people say that black women are over-sexualized. Y'all want to be equal to men and be so like men when it's convenient. So you want to be out here talking about X as much as you want to, whenever you want to, with whomever you want to, with the most gruesome, not gruesome, the most nastiest stuff. And then when someone says something to you, then you're all offended and upset. But y'all do this stuff to yourselves. And at the end of the day, it is a part of the image, as I always say, and it affects everyone else. Now, mind you, say whatever you want, child. Go on out there, have at it, get with it, and all these other things. And then when someone is not treating you like the alleged lady that you claim later on that you want to be, then you want to call men crust, dust, must, rust, ashy ass bums, when actually at the end of the day, you are the one that is the crust, dust, must, rust, ashy bum germanette. So some of the comments, though, y'all, because that is what's giving today. First of all, the uh, caption is, they say sharing is caring from It's On Site. And then they advertise, I guess this is their podcast or something. I don't know. First comment says, when did our community get so sexual with everything after a while it be draining as F? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go ahead and make sure we continue the same energy. Because again, these blogs are the same blogs owned by predominantly black women and or ABCD LGBT males and y'all okay with it and you love it and you support Sukiana and you support Sexy Red and the City Girls and all of that stuff and now all of a sudden now that it's going over to the podcast that makes a difference I guess right mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you're gonna take this L and looks like you're definitely going ahead and still supporting it okay next comment says the way they be on these podcasts talking nasty, unproductive-ish all day, you think all black people have is X. <laughs> you mean like people have been saying for daggone years, the prowess of the male and now the whoredom of black females? Now y'all want to act like you can see it after all this time? So how you going to get the Pillsbury dough back in the can? Because I'm just trying to understand how y'all going to fix it. Because whenever I say something here, one of you biatches come to talk about you don't know, you don't know, you can't say anything. But guess what? Shout out to YouTube. I'm a black woman. And I'm going to say it. Because just because y'all done lost your damn mind don't mean that the rest of us have. And like I always say at the end of that going day, the image is the image. It affects me. It affects any of these other content creators and every other black woman because they're going to be looking at us the same way. Then you'll turn around and say, why do you care what they think? We do not care. 
but you don't seem to care about the fact that it, you show that this is allegedly this is all that black women have to offer just the raunchiest of the nastiest of the raunchiest and you support people like amber damn rose who's the creator of the slut damn walk now i know the next thing will be oh but what the rappers say what the rappers say who the hell is supporting the damn rappers yeah i know it's a lot of kids a lot of young people even a lot of white boys at the end of the day going day who paying chris who paying chris brown a thousand dollars per photo that's what i want to know who who Pretty sure I know who. Next comment says, and this is why HIV slash AIDS are so high in our community. <laughs> oh, now you want to be mindful of the STI, STD rates that are through the daggone roof because black people are disproportionately affected by every daggone thing. Someone tries to tell you, you tell them to get out your daggone face. Then when something happens to you, then you want the community to come to your rescue. We not doing that no more. We not doing that no more. It's not just the HIV and the AIDS, it's everything. Because at the end of the day, y'all still won't use daggone protection to your own detriment. So if you don't care about you, why do you think anybody else is supposed to care about you? I know I don't. No empathy and no damn sympathy. Next comment says, these be the type of men that do actual stuff with their homies on the low, then play like they straight. Of course, always throw out the insult <laughs> without recognizing and seeing that the person leading this conversation that actually said sharing is caring is the daggone female. And this be y'all's problem in the end of the day why you can't have anyone because comprehension is key. Reading is fundamental. Y'all just want to go ahead and bash somebody so bad because you was done so wrong by some ninja that didn't want you to begin with, that you knew was no good to begin with, but you thought you could change him, and now you want to project all over the daggone place. Just ignore the complete and whole fact that this woman said she want to go ahead and let her uh, homies know so that she can daggone share. And you want to bring up the fact that allegedly some daggone man is ABCD LGBT. <laughs> Never wonder why you can't get in relationships. Never wonder why you can't get married. Never wonder why men freaking leave most of you. Never wonder why there's a high single baby mother, poor rate amongst black single mothers. It's because of thinking like this. You don't even have the, the smartness, and I know that's not the right word. You don't have the intelligence enough to even understand what it is that you're looking for. You look at this mess all daggone day on the daggone blogs, and you still don't understand what it is that you're listening to. Getting it all wrong as per usual, just because you want to make sure that you get your lick back on a conversation that ain't even got nothing to do with your life. Any way to go along with this sisterhood that ain't ish, because as soon as that woman allows her friend to mess with that dude and something happens between them, they're going to be fighting over same said do. dude. That's exactly what y'all be doing. Say I'm lying. Anyway, y'all, at the end of the day, y'all going to do what you're going to do. We're going to sit here. We're going to keep judging. We're going to sit up here. We're going to talk about it. No empathy, no daggone sympathy. And when it comes down to the fact that something happens, again, it's still going to be no empathy and no sympathy. That's it. That's all. Like this daggone video. Make sure you comment. Subscribe if you are new. i see you all in the next one. We do not care.